Today, this 50 years old male presented to me with a history of uh, trauma with a sharp wooden stick. You can see on the slit lamp examination the extremely shallow anterior chamber, the full thickness corneal tear just at the pupil inferior pupil margin so when you encounter such patients you should always perform sedal test so today's video is about sedal test sedal test is named after the german ophthalmologist eric sedal and it is used to reveal the leaks from the cornea in a corneal tear full thickness full thickness a scleral rupture or conjunctiva like when we do trab and from blab leak and also after cataract surgery if there is a shallow anterior chamber hypotony and wound leak you can clearly see the full thickness corneal tear so aqueous in the anterior chamber is a clear fluid and the tear film over the cornea is also transparent following corneal injury or surgery if a leak is present then this transparent fluid will leak out of the eye and mix with transparent tear film preventing identification of the leak that's why serial test is performed to detect the leak in serial 10% fluorescein is used to stain the tear film it is done it is dark orange in color so first of all put topical anesthetic alkane eye drops into the eye then carefully put fluorescein dye drops into the lower fornix or fluorescein strip into the eye and tell the patient not to open the eye until you tell him on the slit lamp use cobalt blue filter tell the patient to open the eye and not to blink if a full thickness corneal tear is present you will see the aqueous coming out of the tear like a fountain and diluting the dye so that's the positive sedal test it will also be positive in the blab leakage and loose stitches of the extra capsular cataract extraction with shallow is now here you can clearly see the aqueous coming out of the corneal wound and there is a fluorescein dye in the lower fornix so in our case anterior chamber was very shallow and a positive sedal test confirmed full thickness corneal tear so we treated him as an ocular emergency and undergone prompt surgical repair negative sedal test will tell you that uh, there is a partial thickness corneal tear defect and the management changes so i hope you understand now fully about the sedal test how to perform sedal test what are the indications and how to interpret sedal test thank you very much